In this lesson, we're going to analyze and fare the curves that we've been building. And fairing the curving is essentially taking out any sort of deviation in the curves that we've created. But in order to do that, we want to know what we're looking at. So let's go ahead and analyze these curves. And Rhino has a built-in curve analysis tool. We just go to Analyze, Curve, turn Curve Graph on. So initially, I check this top curve. And you can see we've got a very nice curve running here. There's no real deviation or anything. If you saw any large jumps in this curve, then you'd know that we might have some issues with it. And that's one of the reasons I like to keep my control point count very low when I'm building a curve, is it's much easier to maintain a really nice curve. So I can remove that object. And let's go ahead and add another object here. So edit that curve. So you can see we're getting a large bow out here. Let me increase the density. I'm going to bring that in a little bit. So if we go to the front view, you can see we got this little kink here. So let's look and see if we can minimize that somewhat. And that's probably coming from this point here. And you can see if I move that, sure enough, that changes that point. So that tells us that that kink isn't giving us a really smooth surface through this area. So let's see if we can make some adjustments and kind of clean that up a little bit. Now I'm using nudge, which is alt and then left, right, or up and down keys to try and smooth this out some. But because we're using meters, it's actually a very large kind of a jump that it's making. Let's see if I can maintain that shape. I need this control point to give me that tight curve there. So let me try and just spread these a little bit apart just to get a little less of a crease there. Now the one thing I do have to keep in mind is as I move this curve around, so we're actually pulling it away from the cross sections I'd set up in the previous lesson. So we are going to have to go back and adjust those once we're happy with the curve we have on the side here. So I really want to keep this fairly thin at the front. I think that looks pretty good. We've minimized that as much as we can and still getting the, this tight curve in this area that we want. So I can select that curve, hit Remove Objects, and now let's attach these curves back to the main hull curve. So I'll select this, I'll turn on the control points, I'm going to grab the bottom two points. I want to move them as one, so I maintain tangency going across. I'll select Move, and I'll snap per using my perpendicular snap right down on the object there. Again, turn on control points, select Move, and there we go, we've re reattached. Let me go ahead and add this curve and see what we have here. So in the right viewport, you can see we're coming off the curve, and then we have this little dip in here. So let me see if I can just bring that out just a little bit, just to smooth out the surface. Because what I don't want to happen is I don't want the surface of my yacht to kind of undulate in and then come back out. So I want to minimize some of that as much as I can. And let's analyze the front curve here. Now I don't like the fact that it's doing that, so I want to investigate that curve and make sure that there's no issues with that. Let me turn on the control points here. And this point may have fallen inside. Yep, and sure enough, this was actually on the inside between these curves here. And now the fact that this line is projecting above my zero, zero line, which is the line that this hull is on, tells me that this surface is actually bowing out. So I want to keep this inside here, but on this side, of this blue line. If it goes on this side, then my curve will start to get strange again. So I think that looks pretty good. I'll click this object and we'll remove it. Now that's the curve graph command. Let's go ahead and look at the fair command. So what the fair command does is it analyzes our curves and it'll take out any strange deviations in the curves. 
we can find the fair command in the curve options and we'll select fair and let's grab a curve to fair here but before I do that actually let me switch analysis back on and we can see what that actually does to the command here so we'll see what fairing actually does to the curvature so we'll go ahead and fair it we have a tolerance of one that may be a little too high since we're working meters let's go ahead and apply the command and see what that does so that actually did a very nice job of cleaning up that curve let's look at it before and after you can see it didn't change the curve a whole lot but we have a much nicer cross section through there now so let me remove that object and let's add this object and we'll fare this one and see what we get now that one we got a little more of a change here and i want to minimize that as much as i can so i'm going to undo fair i'll reapply it so we'll change the tolerance and see if we can apply fair without changing the curve too much. So I think that looks pretty good. Let's try one more time on the aft curve. Let's go ahead and add that. And we'll run fair on that curve. Undo that, see what we had, and where we get to. I think that's pretty good too. Let me go ahead and fair this lower curve before we move on. So I have that selected. Let me turn on my curve analysis and see if we can get the fairing to clean up that area for us. Now I really didn't like how it cleaned that up. Apply that again, maybe if we could go a little smaller. Yeah, and I think we're just getting too much of a change. It's getting too far away from the design I want. And I know that this front, because of this tight curve, is never going to be completely smooth anyway. So I think we're going to leave that as is. And we'll work with what we have there. So I'll go ahead and switch curve analysis off. I'm going to save this just to make sure I have it. And that'll conclude this lesson on looking at analyzing and fairing the curves.